thinking about moving to Fairbanks? Well, I've lived here for about 12 years and in this video I break down three pros and three cons of living in Fairbanks which should help you decide if this is the right place for you. Hey everyone, it's Justin Hemminger here with Apex Realty Group and we've been helping folks buy and sell real estate in Fairbanks for over 10 years. And if at any point in this video you have questions about the real estate market, drop them in the comments below or you can reach us out or reach out to us directly at 907-885-0316. You can also find our website and email in the description if you want to view all the latest properties for sale in Fairbanks. Let's get into it. So pro number one, right off the bat, let's talk about the summers. Summers are amazing. Um, they last from about mid-May to, to mid-September here in Fairbanks and they're unbelievable. Uh, the sun shines from or for about 20 and a half hours in the summer solstice and temperatures hover in the mid 70s but they can get up to the, the, the 80s or 90s even and they're the absolute number one thing about living in the interior of Alaska. We can garden like crazy um, with the insane, insane amount of sunshine. Don't forget to take a look at the, uh, the Midnight Sun baseball game at Ground Field. It's, it's the only baseball game played at midnight without artificial lights. It's really cool. It's, a, it's kind of a, I wouldn't say it's a once in a lifetime experience because people go and, and see it every year. It's really awesome. Let's talk about con number one. You've got summer on one side. Let's talk about winter on the other. So winters are long for sure. Winters run from kind of the end of September through the end of April, sometimes the end of May. Sometimes we get snow in through June. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. It gets cold and it gets dark. Around the winter solstice, the only light that we get is more like twilight anyway than, than actual daylight. Temperatures in December and January can dip down to the 30s and 40s below zero pretty regularly. It's, it's 38 degrees below zero right now. Um, but they, they tend to hover in the, the 10 below range on average. Um, but, and there's no getting around it. it it's just cold. Um, but kind of like it is, you know, being in the in the desert in the summer. Majority of the time, folks are if they're outside, they're going outside, and they're going to be going from heated vehicle to heated inside, or heated inside to heated vehicle back to heated inside. So the the prolonged exposure to the cold isn't something to necessarily worry about. That being said you should absolutely be planning for prolonged exposure to the cold. You should definitely invest in some good cold weather gear. I mean, it makes zero sense whatsoever to be outside or to be going outside unprepared when it's, for instance, 38 degrees below zero. A great place to stop by for some cold weather gear is the Prospector Outfitters on South Cushman here in Fairbanks. They've got a huge selection. They've got awesome prices, and it's where I get all of my cold weather gear. It's, it's fantastic. Go check them out. Oh, uh, before I forget, leave a comment below if you want a copy of our Fairbanks Relocation Guide. Also, be sure to subscribe for, for more Fairbanks related real estate content. So pro number two is Fairbanks is super family friendly. Uh, I've got a four year old and an eight year old and we can find something outside or inside to do just about every day. And whether it's summer or winter, there's pretty much always something going on um, at, at Pioneer Park. And there's also the Children's Museum downtown. Uh, Fairbanks Parks and Rec has a has a, a trails challenge every year for both the summer and the winter that we take part in uh, where you can go around and, and snap pictures of yourself in front of these little placards and you can you know kind of win prizes from the, from the Parks and Rec department it's it's really a pretty cool thing the other year last year rather they had a, a scavenger hunt to go find Bigfoot that we participated in and it was a really cool way to enjoy enjoy the outdoors and enjoy being well outside with your family and that was family friendly it's really cool con number two and this one's kind of tough a great deal of your friends may be itinerant with Fairbanks kind of sitting at the heart of a few military installations chances are really good that you're gonna make friends with somebody that is stationed at either Fort Wainwright or Isleson Air Force Base that means that every three to four years or so your friends are going to be moving on to their next duty station. And if, if you're a member of the armed forces, uh, this is something that's, that's not necessarily new to you. You know, you, you, you make friends with folks that are going to be all over the world anyway. But if you're not, it can be a little bit heartbreaking. Um, my wife, I, I'm, a, I'm a veteran myself, so this is nothing that's new to me. Uh, but my wife, this was new to her. So the first couple friends that we made when we first came to Fairbanks, they were military folks. And um, they ended up leaving and it was it was hard it was hard to kind of get over that loss uh, eventually we kind of now have have got friends all over the world but 
although it's, it's a pretty tough con, um, it's also pretty cool to now have friends everywhere that we can go and visit, you know, all over the world. We've got friends um, pretty much everywhere. So it's something to keep in mind. We're not saying goodbye. We're saying see you later. Pro number three, access to nature. You've probably heard me talk about this before, but nature is right out your front door. So there's something for just about everyone when it comes to taking advantage of what the interior of Alaska has to offer. So whether it's, it's hiking or biking or hunting or fishing or camping or, or just being outside in nature, it takes about five minutes to get off the beaten path. When it comes to outside activities, if, if you can't find it here in, in the interior, then it likely doesn't exist. Con number three, homes are not huge. If you're coming to Fairbanks and you're thinking that you're gonna have this, you know, this huge 3,000 square foot home, like somewhere in the lower 48, you're likely not going to find that here. Um, I mean, you still can. You're going to pay an arm and a leg for it. The interior of Alaska is one of the most austere environments in the world, so rather than building huge homes everywhere, builders have focused on building homes uh, efficiently. Um, in fact, you should you should check out the Cold Climate Housing Research Center at the University of Alaska Fairbanks for, for more information about the latest in cutting-edge, energy-efficient building techniques. Um, with, with their help, builders have been able to build homes that stay warm and dry in one of the harshest environments Mother Nature has to offer. And it's, it's been pretty cool because with their help, they've kind of identified that homes are, are more of a, a system rather than a, just a building. Um, they have to take into account more than just you know, how thick the wall is. They've got to take into account the fact that a home has to have ventilation. It has to have good insulation because if you have good insulation without good ventilation then you're going to have a, a lot of moisture and, and issues um, and it's super clear if you've got a, a good insulation but terrible ventilation in your home. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate your support. If you're looking into buying or selling real estate in Fairbanks, feel free to give us a call 907-885-0316. Thank you so much. Have a great day.